Well, here's a quick look around in the building. It's been moved. That's a 10 meter cavity. There's a dead air conditioner. Here's where the power and the breaker box come in. And put a new air conditioner up there and that one's kind of rusted out. There's a little, little bit of heater. way up there when you're standing here on the ground. Yep. Don't worry about it a little bit thin. Well the way everything corrodes in here in 30 years it'll disappear. Yep. Well here's a shot all the way up to the top of the tower. This tower's about a thousand feet up. The plan is today to get the antennas up. Heat line up tomorrow. Boy, oh, it's way up there for just a thousand feet. Put your camera like that. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. That'd be all right. That'd man. be it, yeah. These towers don't like cameras. Up, up, and away. Ah, there, it takes a long time. Especially when it quits. <laughs> Are they moving? They're moving. Yeah, they're going <laughs> up. What's the name of this tower company? Trico. This is Trico Tower. Going up one more time. Now Steve, I'm working on a 10 meter. Antenna, going to put it up there. That's far enough. Boxes. Oh, well, I'm glad it's that far. What's your ham call, Carl? Kilo Alpha 5, Mike Echo Indian. And Steve, I don't remember yours either. WB5UGT. Okay. Well, here comes the old antenna down. Finally getting her down. Looks like the top of it up there is kind of bent up a little bit. Well, it's almost back down to the ground now. See the top of it's been completely over up there. Now we got a guy on the ground to pick it up. He's trying to get a hold of it.
you some idea how this deteriorates. You can see now that fiberglass has come off of there. Well, we're going to salvage the clamps off the old antenna. So Robert's getting with it. Cutting all them old bolts off. Okay, I got the problem solved and they're fixing to pull the antenna on up. It's off the ground and headed up the tower, we hope. Well, Stevie's got some rattles in his truck. Well, they got her going up. There's the antenna, there's the antenna. Getting it pretty high up there now. the elevator and get me on up a little higher. We got a little kink in the feed line, so they're gonna. They got the connectors. They're gonna cut that kink out. 
I'll give you some idea. Put your hand back down there, Robert. I'll give you somebody how big we're talking about here, but that's that's it. Gonna fix it. Got a handy dandy cutter, just cuts it right off of there. Her. Here's what the end of it looks like. This is it. They're gonna cut that end off and put another connector on there and put the two together. That part of the connector on there, and ready to get the other end out. Oh, pretty complicated fitting. A little more complicated than SO239. <laughs> Right in there. And now he's prepping the other end of the cable. Getting ready to put the second connector on. Ball bearings are supposed to follow the corrugations and screw that up. Is yeah. that the idea? Yeah, it, yeah, it snaps in. I guess. It snaps around that flare. Shop. There goes nothing. So if it snaps just right, you know you got it on there right, huh? Yes, sir. Ready for the last step. Yeah, see, now These are angle iron braces that are going to go on the two antennas to keep them from rotating in a real strong wind. These go out about four foot from the tower leg and prevent the wind from pushing the antennas around. Hey, well, headed back up again. Nuts in the bag. Okay, the antenna has landed. All he's got to do is get it off that wire now and hook it on to the anti sway portion of the antenna on one end and to the tower leg on the other end. Okay, he's out on the brace now. Out on the antenna. Deal, it holds it up there. I'm fixing to attach one end of the brace to a plate welded to the part that holds the antenna approximately six foot out from the tower leg. Okay, now he's hanging out there on the, right underneath it. And they started shooting next door again. You can hear them talking from down here, but you can't tell what they're saying. 
Well, I don't know what he did, but he did something. Well, he's out there on the Hogan brace again. Swing down under it. 